Today's video is called Major Problems Faced by George Washington. It's part one of two. So today you'll learn about the problems, and in the next video you'll learn about Washington's solutions to the problems. Now, there were a lot of problems facing George Washington when he took over as the America's first president. You already learned about one of them, which was the financial system, and the solution to that was obviously Hamilton's financial plan. But besides money and economic issues, there were many other issues that were affecting the country both in Europe and overseas, as well as on the, the frontier and the borders of the United States. So the first issue we'll talk about is the fact that the Spanish, the country of Spain, controlled the Mississippi River. So let's look at a map here real quick and see why that was important. The United States is um, outlined in the colors that you see, the dark colors, um, the oranges and the pinks. Spain controls everything west of the Mississippi River, which is this dark line that kind of divides color and gray, and they also control everything south, Florida, and the southern parts of Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana that you see here. Now, as more and more people were moving from the eastern coast, where the original 13 states were, out into the western territories, the northwest territory up here, which is sort of like the Midwest, Michigan, Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, um, into the west, which is, becomes Kentucky and Tennessee, more and more people are, are living out there, and in order to do business, they need to use the Mississippi River to bring their trade down the Mississippi River into the Atlantic Ocean and then out to Europe. If you don't have the Mississippi River, then you don't have any access to the ocean and you can't easily trade. So it's a very big issue for people that are living in the West. Now, Spain controls the city of New Orleans, which is located right here where the mouse cursor is. Because the city of New Orleans um, is where the Mississippi River meets the ocean, they control which boats can go in and out of the river. So Spanish control of the Mississippi River really affected people living in the west of the country because they really needed that waterway for trade. Without it, it really wasn't worth living out west. And so the future of the country really depended on the ability for more and more people to move west and therefore prosper with the Mississippi River. How would Washington deal with this problem? It was very tricky because, well, Spain didn't really wasn't really going to give up access to the river easily, and there wasn't really much that the United States could do for Spain. So we'll see what Washington does about that later. All right, moving on to our second issue was the war between England and France. We've already talked a little bit about this war because we talked about the political parties. Now, England and France are at war, and here's a little battle scene. They go to war all the time, and both countries want us to support them in the war. Of course, the North wants to stay loyal to England because they rely on trade with England. The South wants to support France because France helped us during the Revolutionary War, and they also are getting rid of their king and trying to give their people more rights, which is something the South believes in and with the Democratic Republicans. Both England and France want us to help them, and they get mad at us for not helping them. So it's a really a big mess, and no matter who we support in the war, half the country will hate it. And if we stay neutral, the two countries will hate us. So there's really no winning. Um, that's a big issue for Washington, and we'll talk about what he does there. It's a really important decision. All right, moving along, the third issue that Washington faced was this idea of called impressment. And England was the main culprit with impressment. This is what it looked like. Basically, what would happen is that England would stop trade ships going to their enemy countries. In this case, it would be France. So if an American trade ship was going to France, England would stop it, um, take everything on board, including the sailors, take it captive, They'd make the sailors part of the English Navy, they'd make the ship part of the English Navy, and they would steal all of the cargo on board. And England would do this because they didn't want anybody trading with their enemies. Now, America was a neutral country, and they didn't think England should be allowed to do this. There really wasn't much that the United States could do to stop it since that England had the largest navy in the world. Plus, if America stopped trading with France, England would get what it wanted, and if America tried to stop trading with England, well then we would go broke. So England really had the United States in a position where they couldn't really do much about impressment. But it really made people very upset. Uh, believe it or not, especially the South, because the South didn't have anything to lose by cutting off a relationship with England. The North tolerated impressment more because they needed to trade with England. All right, the final issue we'll talk about is Native American attacks. Uh, in the Northwest Territory, which I already explained was Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, Michigan, and Wisconsin. So here is a picture of some Native Americans attacking. Um, Native Americans obviously did not want the United States to spread further west and take more and more of their lands. So they were pretty mad that Americans were moving west. The English, who had forts in that territory, 
but they never moved after the Revolutionary War, also did not want America to continue to get stronger because they did not want them to become a main rival. So working together, the, the English would give the Native Americans guns, and then the Native Americans would attack the frontier. So the issue was twofold. Not only did you have to stop the Native Americans, you also, you also had to stop the British from giving them guns. This was obviously a big, big problem for people living in the West that made life very scary and dangerous. And in order to continue moving West and expanding the country, Washington would have to solve this issue. So to conclude, there was four major problems. The Spanish having the river, the Mississippi River, the countries of England and France fighting against each other in a war, and both of them wanting us to join on their side. The issue of England impressing American trade ships, and finally the issue of Native Americans attacking settlers on the frontier. Different regions would want Washington to do what was best for their region. So the West would have certainly two of those things would be really important to the West. The North would have things that were important to them, and the South would also have things that were important to them. The solutions would to these problems, no matter what Washington did, he would be making somebody angry. So we really have to think hard about it. Now in class tomorrow, you are going to actually tell Washington what he should do. So you're going to have to think about solutions to these four problems and tell him what the best course of action was. And then you should stay tuned for part two of this video where Mrs. Vibber Johnson is going to explain to you what Washington did.